Do animals dream like humans? Find out the answer, during the course of this video. Which is the newest country, in the world? Answer, South Sudan. The newest internationally recognized country in the world, is the African country of South Sudan, which declared independence on, 9th of July, 2011. On 14th of July, 2011, it also became the newest member of the United Nations. South Sudan was originally the southern part of Sudan, which itself had become independent in 1956, after being ruled by Egypt, and Great Britain. However, the population of Sudan was quite diverse, with differences between the populations of the northern, and southern parts of Sudan. The increasing tensions contributed to an armed resistance, and two lengthy civil wars that took place from 1955 to 1972, and 1983 to 2005. The referendum held in January, 2011, under the terms of the 2005 Comprehensive Peace Agreement, ended the decades-long civil war between the North and the South regions, leading to the formation of, South Sudan. Where did tomatoes, originate from? Answer, tomatoes originated in South America, where the Aztecs, and the Inca people, were eating them as early as 700 AD. Tomatoes derive its name from the language of the Aztecs. Tomatl, from Nahuatl, the language used by the Aztecs, gave rise to the Spanish word, tomate, from which the English word, tomato was derived. It was not until around the 16th century, that Europeans were introduced to tomatoes when the early explorers set sail to discover new lands. However, the Europeans initially believed the tomatoes to be poisonous, and started eating tomatoes only from the early 19th century. What is the average surface temperature of the moon? Answer. Since there is no significant atmosphere on the moon, it cannot trap heat or insulate the surface. Hence, temperatures on the moon are extreme, ranging from boiling hot to freezing cold, depending on where the sun is shining. Daytime temperatures near the lunar equator, reach a boiling 250 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 120 degrees Celsius, enough to turn water into vapor. However, nighttime temperatures get to a chilly minus 208 degrees Fahrenheit, that is minus 130 degrees Celsius. What body part does a butterfly, use for tasting? Answer. Feet. Butterflies do not have mouths, that allow them to bite or chew, instead they have a long straw-like structure called, a proboscis, which they use to drink nectar and juices. However, the proboscis doesn't have any taste sensors. 
to help them decide if food tastes good, or bad. Instead, those taste sensors are located on the bottom of its feet. The butterfly steps on its food, to sense dissolving sugars. Even more importantly, a female butterfly will use her feet to drum on a plant, and taste its juices. This helps her to decide, if the leaf would be edible to a caterpillar, and therefore a suitable place to lay her eggs. Now back to the question number one. Do animals dream like humans? Answer, yes. Dreams are not the sole prerogative of humans. Scientists have found that, animals can dream too. Dreams are hallucinations, that occur during certain stages of sleep. They are strongest during the rapid eye movement stage, also called as the, REM sleep, during which our muscles are usually paralyzed. During REM sleep, eyelids twitch as the eyes beneath flicker, and move. During this stage of sleep, the brain behaves almost the same as it does when it's awake, and that's when most people report having dreams that they can remember once they wake up. However, we certainly can't ask animals if they dream, but we can observe the evidence that they might. Since the 1950s, scientists have found evidence that many other mammals, and birds also dream just like us humans. Almost all mammals and birds, that have been studied, from dogs and cats, to duck-billed platypuses, and even reptiles, go into this stage of, REM sleep. Studies have been conducted on cats by removing a part of their brainstem, called the pons, which prevented the cats from becoming paralyzed when in REM sleep. The researchers called the condition, REM without adonia, or REM A. During these studies it was observed, that instead of lying still in their sleep, the cats raised their heads, suggesting they were watching unseen objects, arched their backs, walked round appearing to stalk prey, swatted their paws, and bit at imaginary objects. This hinted they were dreaming of activities from their waking hours. Similar dream activity has been seen in dogs. Studies have also compared the brain cell patterns of rats running through a maze for a food reward, with their brain cells patterns during REM sleep. They found that the rats' brains repeated the same brain cell patterns during REM sleep, that were first established while they ran the course through the maze, leading to the conclusion that the rats were dreaming about their run through the maze. REM sleep has been observed in all mammals, although in varying amounts. Surprisingly, many animals get even more REM sleep than humans, and platypuses top the list. In fact, platypuses get more REM sleep than any other animal, spending up to 8 hours a day in REM phase. This makes the strange duck-billed mammals, the most prolific dreamers in the animal world. Since we are unable to speak with these animals, it is hard to determine whether any of them know that they are dreaming, or can remember their dreams, once they wake up.